we have already discussed about the processor and the various functional units of the processor. So we know that the main task of the processor is instruction execution. Now we are going to discuss about a way of improving the performance of the processor. Suppose we have a sequential process or a sequential task to be performed and that has to be performed repeatedly and we have a processing unit for performing that task. If this sequential process can be divided into sub-processes or sub-tasks and at the same time if we are able to organize its processing unit into independent sub-units such that each subunit can independently perform each subtask, then we will be able to make use of one concept called pipelining to improve the performance of this process. We know that the task of the processor is instruction execution, and instruction execution is a sequential process that has to be repeated. Also, we know that. The instruction execution process consists of sub-processes or phases such that such a fetch phase, decod phase, execute and write back phase. The number of phases may vary. We shall consider four phases, fetch, decode, execute and write back. And the processing unit for instruction execution is our processor with these functional units such as ALU, control unit, registers, buses and so on. So if we are able to organize this processor into independent subunits such as each subunit can independently perform each phase of instruction execution then we will be able to make use of the concept of pipelining to improve the performance of instruction execution. By viewing this kind of basic organization, we can see there are a lot of dependencies structure-wise, data flow-wise and control flow-wise. Even then, if we are able to organize this hardware or the combinational circuit into independent subunits, where each subunit can independently take care of each phase without much interfering with each other, then we will be able to make use of the method of pipelining to improve the performance of instruction execution. So generally, pipelining is a way of improving the performance and it is an implementation at the hardware level. And to make use of pipelining, our sequential process to be repeated should be able to be divided into sub-processes and its processing unit should also be able to be organized into independent units accordingly.